What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Got a really, really good video for you today. We're going to be talking about how to generate annuity leads using Facebook ads, uh, specifically lead forms, as well as using the Facebook CRM and appointment booking calendar system. So um, even if you're, you're not in the annuity space uh, or insurance or whatever, um, this is still going to be a really good video for you because we're going to be breaking down the Facebook CRM and appointment system uh, that I've actually never used. This is the first campaign I've used them in. And this could be a really good way for you to get started with Facebook ads uh, without having to build out your own funnel and follow-up systems and CRM and just using what Facebook gives you uh, just to get started. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to explain this a little bit in detail later why I don't recommend that. However, it's better to get started, uh, you know, start testing out campaigns, getting leads uh, that you can call. Than, than not like to, to just do nothing, right? It's better than doing nothing. So uh, make sure you stick to the end. Really good stuff in this video. I'm going to show you the results of the campaign so far, how we have it set up, how we're using these Facebook tools to, to generate the leads and, uh, and follow up with them. All right. Um, my only ask as usual, guys, is if you find the video helpful, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Always have good stuff for you guys. Uh, good stuff for you guys there. Let's get into this. couple of things really quick. I want to say uh, I want to talk real quick why I don't usually recommend a system like this, um, but you're going to see it's getting pretty good results thus far. Um, the reason is uh, for me, in my experience, it's always like I, I love Facebook lead forms. They're they're really great way to build your list, get people into your pipeline. But I just find that when you run people, when you take them uh, off of the Facebook platform after they submit the Facebook lead form and put them through your own pre-qualification or appointment booking funnel, it just tends to create a higher intent uh, type of lead because you're taking them through multiple steps, right? Uh, so, you know, this particular campaign, we're asking for a lot of information on the Facebook lead form. So these leads right here, these 12 leads, uh, they, they've given their name, email, phone number, and they've answered like three or four custom questions. We'll get into that in a minute. So. They, they are still high intent because they're answering these questions versus just asking for a name, email, maybe a phone number. But still, it's uh, in my experience, it is a better process if you can run them through your own funnel outside of Facebook. And also that allows you to send the follow up emails and text messages, put them into, you know, like a, your go high level CRM. That's usually what I do. So uh, anyways, let's um, I, I just wanted to clarify that I don't usually run this type of campaign. But so far, it's working pretty good. That's why you always want to test things, right? And this could be a good way for you to get started because these things are really easy to set up. So let's break down the results here really quick, and then we'll get into the actual campaign. So you see here, so far, we're at 12 leads. Nothing crazy. We've only been running it for a few days. We're doing $25 per day. And we're tar uh, again, this is specifically for annuity leads. We're offering a free annuity guide and like custom plan at the end of it. And uh, we're targeting, you'll see here, I've got two layers. Uh, I, I like using a multi-layer targeting strategy, um, which I go into a lot of depth inside of my, my courses. Uh, if you're in the life insurance or annuity space and you want to learn how to generate more leads, I'll have a link in the description to my academy specifically for life insurance and annuity lead generation. I give you this exact, uh, like all of the ad images, like pre-made Facebook ad campaigns. I show you all the targeting, give you the ad images and videos, pre-written ad copy, the funnels, the follow-up, CRM, everything is pre-done for you. So make sure you check that out. But so far, uh, this campaign's, I mean, it's doing pretty well. We're at $12.60 per lead, which, um, uh, I mean, that's not too bad for an annuity lead that is providing name, email, and phone number, as well as answering three you know, pre-qualification questions about their retirement goals. So that's not too bad. And uh, one of the things I want to show, though, is that the, the reason, uh, like, I think this would actually be a lot lower if it weren't for the CPM. So let's break that down really quick. You can see here our CPM is really high. It's at $94. That just means that this is a very competitive audience that we're going after. That's why you want to test different audiences, guys. Like people ask me for targeting um, quite a bit. And, you know, Again, I, I go into how I create really like hyper targeted audiences um, using my multi layer targeting strategy inside my courses. But you want to test uh, like there's not, I, I wouldn't say there's one type of audience that you want to go after in your industry. You want to test different uh, combinations of interests because you just, you don't know which one is going to work better. Right. So this, uh, this is generating leads really well, but the CPM is really high. 
Uh, however, here, here's what's really cool. Um, these are like my, the main metrics I look at. This link click through right here, look at this, 2.07%. That is insane, guys. And that's how I know that um, the, this campaign, the, the lead cost would be a lot lower if we could get the CPM down because that's the only reason our lead costs are a little bit higher. If the, if the CPM was like 50 or 60, we'd be getting leads for under $10, like annuity leads, high, very high ticket commission products here, uh, under 10 bucks of people requesting this free annuity guide. They're providing contact information. They're answering pre-qualifications about their retirement goals, et cetera. This is really, really these are really good numbers. Um, this is how I know that we've got a really good campaign going on here. Our conversion rate is actually pretty good too. It's better than I thought it was going to be. We've had 33 link clicks and 12 leads. So we're at right around 30, 33% conversion rate, which for a long form lead ad, that's pretty good uh, in my experience anyways. So the engagement on this just lets me know that we're in front of the right audience. We've got a good offer. Our ad images and copy, all that stuff is really good. We just need to uh, focus on maybe bringing down the CPM. Uh, potentially in a, in another campaign, right? So uh, those are the numbers. Let me show you the the types of ads that uh, that we're running here, and let's just use one that is getting a good chunk of. Uh, it's actually dispersed pretty good. Yeah, like right here, you know, nine dollars a lead right here. This one's a bit high, but um, we're using uh, three different types of of ad creatives, and I've been doing this more. Um, more often just you know over the past few months is testing three different types of ads where we have a single image we have a carousel ad and we have static video ad all right and again i break that down more in my course but i'll just show you an example here um and again guys uh, if you're looking for annuity leads you're doing to do your own annuity lead generation i'm going to have these exact facebook ad campaigns inside of my course where you can literally just take them put them into your ads manager and, and hit publish, all right? It's a really good way for you to learn, but also get started. So make sure you check that out in the description. All right, so let's uh, let's scroll down here. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into the ad copy. It's really like this particular campaign, it's really long form ad copy. I just wanted to show you kind of the, um, the, the overall ad strategy, I guess. We're offering this free annuity income retirement guide, learn how to create guaranteed income uh, with, with annuities, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the lead form, and, and this is where we're going to start to segue into the, the Facebook CRM and appointment calendar, because there's some important things that you guys need to know if you want to use this, uh, is basically, um, so let's, uh, let me duplicate this. All right. And uh, I'll show you the, like, the, the, you can ask a lot of different types of questions here. You know, which of the following best describes you? And we're basically asking, like, you know, the time frame of when they're looking to retire. You currently have annuities in your portfolio. What is the range of your annual household income? Just basic stuff you would ask people on a first time call. And then on the uh, on the completion uh, stage on the form here, we have uh, we're basically offering a, a free custom annuity retirement plan. All right, click here to schedule. And this link here, um, it's a bit.ly link, but this link uh, sends people to the Facebook appointment calendar. Okay, so now let's, let's start diving into that. All right, so when somebody fills out the form, all right, they provide their name, email, phone number, and they answer those three questions, they get put into a CRM. All right, so we're going to go to, so you're going to go to your Facebook business page and click on Leads Center. This is basically the Facebook CRM where you can, uh, manage the leads that you're generating here uh, from from your uh, from your lead forms. Now, again, I don't really recommend using this. However, it has a little bit a decent amount of functionality. It's good for getting started, but you know, I just I wouldn't recommend it long term. Go high level is going to be way better at helping you follow up with your leads, keep track of everything, etc. Anyways, uh, what we can do here is we can uh, change this because there's a couple different campaigns going. We'll change this to the form that we're using and it'll bring up all the leads that have submitted this particular form. And we scroll down, we see uh, that we, uh, let's see, we're kind of in the way here. Um, actually, it looks like we just generated another lead. So we're at 13 now. And uh, basically what you can do is, uh, is it looks, and it looks like some of these still need to be contacted. Um, I will not count one of these. Like uh, they gave us a bogus number, like all fives, but whatever. All right, so here's what you can do. You can actually click on the contact here and it's going to pop up over here on the right hand side. It's going to give you the contact information and you can create a label here 
uh, to to help organize leads, you know, depending on, uh, or did you not get in touch with them? Did you get in touch with them? Is it a good lead? Is it a bad lead? Are we follow, what, like, what are the different stages in your sales process? And uh, you can also assign the lead to uh, specific like, team members. Like, so if you add team members to your Facebook business page and you want them to contact the leads, you can assign the lead to that particular uh, person uh, within your team. So you can do that as well. You could, excuse me, you can also schedule reminders. I do think this is, um, this is an important feature. I'm glad that the Facebook CRM has this. You can schedule a reminder to follow up with the leads. This is really important, guys. I really stress this to all of my clients and students is you've got to be setting tasks to follow up with your leads. You know, even if you're not getting in touch with them right away, keep setting reminders to follow up, follow up, follow up, because you just never know when someone's going to pick up the phone. You make money when, when you're on the phone with people, when you're making your, your dials. Uh, you can also leave notes, which is really important. That's going to help you remember the types of, you know, just what, what, do you, what did you discuss on the phone with your prospects? That's really important. And then down here at the bottom, they have all of the form answers. Uh, so all of the information they provided in the lead form, you can get that information before you make the call, which is really, really important. So overall, you know, for getting started, the Facebook CRM is not that bad. You know, if, if you're really not tech savvy and you don't want to mess with go high level and all this stuff, even though I have everything pre-built for you inside of the course. But, um, you know, this is this could be a good way for you to at least get started, get some leads coming in and use the basic functionality that they give you here to, to keep track and organize your leads. All right. Now, the uh, other part is the appointment calendar uh, system or yeah, the, the appointment calendar like booking feature that Facebook has. So you're going to want to set this up. Uh, you should see it under appointments right here. Um, if not, I believe it's under settings where you, um, here, let, let, let's just, uh, let me see. double check. Um, actually, you know what? It might be, um, I got, like I said, I, I, uh, I haven't used this before, so I need to, uh, oh yeah. You know where it was is right here under, oh yeah. Uh, free Facebook business tools. That's it. And there's going to be an option here to accept appointments. So you want to click that, set it up, uh, and, and make sure you have that done first. And then this is important guys, because otherwise people won't be able to book with you. Um, I, I learned this the hard way is up here at the top. Uh, you want to click on services and actually add the service that people are booking for. So you see right here where we have free custom annuity retirement plan. Uh, so this is what actually allows people to, to book with you. All right. So you want to create a service. So we'll just add a service here really quick, give it a name. You know, if it's, if you have a price, if not, just you know, say free. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and change it to free. All right. Uh, put in the, what this is. So in our particular case, we're just saying like, you know, get a custom plan to learn exactly what type of annuity is best for your retirement goals, et cetera, something like that. You can set the duration and yeah, uh, you're, you're good after that. And uh, when you're setting up the actual appointment feature for your Facebook business page, you'll be able to choose like your calendar availability. You can also add a photo here if you want, click save, good to go. Uh, adding the photo is probably a, a good idea. Now, here's the thing that I don't like about the Facebook appointment system, and I'll show you. So if you go to appointments, um, to get the booking link, uh, you're going to, so you click on appointments over here on the uh, bottom right, you're going to click copy booking link. And this is the link that at least we're using on the Facebook lead form here. Click here to schedule. You, you This is basically the link that that we're, we're using, and it sends them to the appointment calendar uh, system inside of uh, Facebook. However, I, I'm really not that crazy about it. So if we actually open it up, because it doesn't make it, it's not a, just a very, it's just not a very good user experience. So let me switch over to my profile here. All right, so this is what they see. So they can click book now and, and right here, they can click book, you know, and that's fine. You, you would think that's, you know, common sense, not that big of a deal. But again, we want to make it as simple as possible for people to take the steps within our funnel, which is why I recommend using things like Go High Level or some type of funnel builder to take people through these different steps. Um, so, but they, they actually have to click on this one right here to, to book, which, you know, then they can choose their day and time and, and you know, not, not that big of a deal. But again, just talking, if we're talking about a, uh, uh, just a user experience, uh, having your own, so having your calendar on like, uh, within your funnel, like on a web page within your funnel, which is exactly what we do inside of my course, 
the, uh, it's just a better user experience. But again, the, you know, if you're just getting started and you don't want to mess with any of that stuff and you just want to use the features that Facebook gives you, you this is how you do it. It's, it's not that difficult to set up. So to, to recap, um, you're, you're setting up your Facebook lead form campaign. All right. You are setting up. Uh, so you've got your lead center here for your CRM. All you do for your appointments is set up the feature on your, your Facebook business uh, homepage. So if we go back to home here, we scroll down, you should see like your, your free Facebook business tools here and, and an option to do the appointments. You can click show more and you'll see all of the different things that uh, tools that you have available to you. Set that up, set your availability, grab the booking link, put that in your Facebook lead form and you have a, a Facebook lead generation campaign that you can get started with. So you know, overall, I would say that, uh, you know, having this, of course, like I said, this is the first time that I'm using these types of Facebook uh, features. Um, but from what I've seen so far, again, it's, it's really easy to get them set up so that you can get started. I don't recommend it long term, but a great way to get started. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with just like the basic functionality of it. We'll see how it goes. And, um, you know, I'll probably do another video later on when we have uh, more leads coming in. We've had more conversations, you know, like what the quality of that lead is. Um, I know there's a, an appointment or two. I, I don't know, a, a, an appointment set up um, specifically. To, I, I, I think the client got in touch with them and then they set an appointment for sometime next week, et cetera. So um, we'll see. But uh, overall, I mean, getting people into your pipeline for, uh, you know, with a high ticket uh, service like annuities, or a high ticket product like annuities for, you know, like, well, like I said, we got 13 these now we're at $11 and 64 cents per lead. That's pretty good guys. Uh, I'm not going to complain. So, so far it's off to a really good start. So anyways, I, I just wanted to share that uh, with you guys. I hope that, uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope you got uh, some really good ideas for, you know, whether you're getting started with Facebook ads or maybe some different strategies to, to test. Uh, that's what I really enjoy doing is testing a lot of different things just to see what works. But uh, I hope, like I said, I hope this was helpful. Leave your uh, feedback down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, if you know what your experience has been with these uh, Facebook tools, so leave your feedback down below. Any questions that you have as well? Uh, if, again, if you're in the life insurance uh, and or annuity industry and you want to learn my exact Facebook ad strategy for generating leads in this industry and get access to pre-made Facebook ad campaigns that you can just take and put into your ads manager specifically for insurance and annuities, check out the course down below. So anyways, guys, I digress. Really appreciate your time and I hope you're crushing it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.